good. That's here by here. And we have ourselves a tannery. Okay, so if the tannery is done, so we need an animal pen and we need several houses. And we said we could throw a gathering place in here. So we have the farm stuff here. We could throw a house in here, just a small one. I heard you, I just don't see you. There you are. But do we want it on, because we're doing a, like a, a crescent, so it's gonna come around and come back. So it'll have to be this way. And its doorway will have to be in here. We have a six, it's a set, they're all seven wide. So one, two, that would be three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That can't be, that is so squished. It's gotta be back. There. Private road. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the farmer's fields. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do the seven by seven here. Okay, and that makes this one. This is small, nope. Small house, seven. Done. Then we were gonna put a gathering place, which is on one that I cannot find. There it is. The gathering place is 11 wide by nine deep. So let's start over here. One, two, three. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This, I do believe, doesn't have a back or a front, so it really doesn't matter which direction I do it in. And there's no pathway going to it anyways. So this is gathering place uh, three. And you get a chest and a sign. There, and then we're gonna put the animal pen. So one, two, three, here. No. Um, animal pen is eight by nine. So this is nine, right? That's nine. Yeah, this is nine deep. So we're gonna come, is that gonna cause an issue for you guys? No, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it. 
lined up to there so that it has extra space. So that's nine deep by eight wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't need these ones. And then it comes down here. At kitty. So this is animal pen. Is it a particular animal pen or is it just animal pen? It is animal pen one. Whoops, space, one. Well, that was exciting. Let's put another sign on. All right, so we have our animal pen. What we need now is another house. And how did we do the other house? Was it, it was facing, it got a pathway. It got a three path and it would have a three across from it. All right, Shovelicious, let's do this. All right, so it's gonna be one, two, three. So it has to be in here. One, two, three, there. And it is a seven wide, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but it's only six deep. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm wondering if we have to put anything down in that. Well, we'll probably do. I don't think this is enough room to put all those other buildings. Uh, please, no, thank you. All right, so this is doo -doo -doo. small house eight. And it gets a chest and one of these. All right, so that is eight done. So those are all the buildings that we plan to have up here. Uh, I didn't give you a chest, did I? <gasps> My bad. Kitty, you're supposed to watch stuff like that. Really? Where's the bed? So I'm going to leave the rest of this area open. Like, I don't know what I'm going to put down at that other end, but there isn't a whole lot of room. Did you give me something? You gave me chicken. Yay! So there probably is room for some more houses or something in here. I mean, there's a lot of room. There's a lot of space. So I could probably push a lot of these buildings out a lot further. They don't need to be in threes. Um, there's a lot of space up here. There is not, though, enough space to put all the other buildings. So we still have to do... So let's move those. We have the armorer. And he's a 7x7. Seven seven. We have a cartographer, which is making my paper fall off the thing, which is a 9x8. We have a Fletcher, which is 11 by 9. We have a Mason, which is 10 by 7. We have a Toolsmith, which is 11 by 7. We have a Weaponsmith. And that's weapon smith two, which is a 13 by nine. And then we need houses for all of those. And so we have small house one, which is seven by seven and yellow. Two, which is seven by seven and red. 
and three, which is seven by seven in orange. And then that's it. That's all of our stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick break. Hopefully, I don't drop any more frames. Um, but I have to go for a pee. So I'm going to be right back. All right?
And I'm back. Hello. Um, the delay in there was because I needed to sign into the Rogers account to do the speed test because then it actually sends the information back to their technical support so that I can show them I'm not getting it. They also replied to my tweet with their lovely little thing that they do saying, dealing with speed issues after an upgrade would make me side eyeing my choice as well. I have no idea what that means. Uh, we will be happy. No, it's wheel. I don't really do contractions. We'll be happy to take a closer look into the connectivity to see what's up. Please click the following link to DM us so we can gather account info to access your file for testing. Thanks. From NT. Um, I don't know if I want to go with NT or if I want to talk to the people I talked to before when I was doing it. So yeah. They're going to have to wait until after the stream. Then I'm going to yell at them for a while. Because I'm mad. The other thing I'm also going to do after the stream is I'm actually going to 
push um, these over more. <laughs> like they are really squished. I'm not happy with how squished they are. The only other house I think I want to add up here, which honestly should have been down there, is the cartographer. And the cartographer is not going to fit. It's nine by eight, and we need the houses. So there literally is no room down there. So I could put the cartographer like right here. Oh, look who it is. Our friend. Hello. Okay, I need to get out of Twitter and go back into Twitch. Okay. Um, why do villagers just randomly vanish into thin air? Well, here's the question I have for you. Are you running 14... Uh, zero, 14, one, 14, two, or 14, oh, I got to move the mic, 14, three. Which one are you running? Because that would kind of make a difference. Did they just, oh, wrong button. I don't even have my fingers on the right part of the keyboard. Oh, kitty, you came with me. You startled me. Um, are they in the hole? <laughs> that would be too funny. Yeah, they just vanished. I hate when they do that. I killed off a whole party once, and I was looking for the captain. I saw him, and he literally vanished right before my eyes. I was like, no. All of this will eventually get fixed up out here, but for right now, meh. 14.3. Well, it's supposed to be fixed. That was an issue in everything up to 14.2. So that's a problem. Um, and you're building in a creative, peaceful world and made four houses all secured, all at least. Now, do they have beds and do they have jobs? Because that seems to be important. So are you looking to get them to breed or not? Like you have to have a farmer with a farm to get them to breed. Without the farm, they won't breed. So that has to happen. Um, and what else is there? I haven't had any of my villagers disappear. There's also, oh, you're in peaceful, so you don't have the zombie hordes. I have had one of those come through and pick my village pretty close to clean. <laughs> that was very unhappy. I don't generally work in peaceful or in survival. I knew there were error, like errors, like actual bugs where things were disappearing villagers were disappearing animals were disappearing chunks of your house were disappearing you know pathways were disappearing inventory was gone yes they need to have a job if they don't have a job they're unemployed there's nothing to keep them around now they will wander if you put a bell in the center of that area then they will wander, I don't know what the number is, sorry, off the top of my head, but a certain distance away from that bell. And then they will come back because they'll go and explore, which is why I fenced these guys like mad because they'd be out of here. Like when I had them in the lower village, it was so bad. It was so, so bad. Um, because I put beds all over the place. There are beds in here. There were beds like over here. There were beds by the barn. There is a bed in the shed. Um, there are beds in my house. There's a bed on every floor of the storage area. There was one under the polar bear. So the villagers were like going and trying to sleep everywhere. I found one way out over here because it's within the distance of where I put the bell. So, yeah, but give them a job that gives them a prof like a profession and they are forced to go back to their profession twice a day. 
So if they have a job, like if they're a cartographer and you give them a cartography table, wherever that table is, they must come within, I think it's eight blocks of it every single day, twice a day. They don't have a choice. So that's, that's something that's built into them. So I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, I do have to push these. A random... What? Where did he come from? Like, literally, where did he come from? It's like, the sun is almost setting, and he is now burning. Ugh. So yes, they need both beds, and they need jobs. And if you want them to breed, they need a farmer. With a farm. I found out that one the hard way, too. If you do not want them to breed, take away the composter for the for the farmer. And then he'll stop feeding them and they'll stop breeding out of control because I had like two villagers per bed and they were still breeding. And it's like, uh, how do I make this stop? Well, first off, you go to 14.3. But I'm not in 14.3. I'm actually playing in... Uh, oh. Which direction? That direction. I was pointing with my fingers, which you couldn't see. I'm in 14.2 still. Uh, the reason I'm in 14.2 is I'm trying to get levels so that I can get uber armor. In 14.2, you have the ability in survival and creative, you can make it yourself. At least I think you can. But in 14.2, you can put multiple protections on things. Like before you had to choose, do I want you know, fire protection or blast protection or, you know, projectile protection. In 14.2, you can put them all on. So, yeah, I want to make uber armor. But it's going to cost me a lot because I'm in survival. So I'm going to make diamond gear that has all the protections on it, maxed out, if I can, um, why call it Uber? Uber is considered the best. And that's before the car company took over the name. So, yeah. <laughs> it's not really fair what actual Uber did, because that wasn't theirs to do. Um, it is a Scandinavian word. I don't know if it is... Um, like Swedish or if it's Norwegian or if it's Finnish or anything like that. But it's just become slang now for people to say something is Uber because it's better. Kitty, we're putting the cartographer down here and then we'll go to bed. Is that okay? Yes? No? Yes? You don't know? You're going to stick with me. All right. You hang out with me. The cartographer is only nine wide by eight deep, so it, it won't take us long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so it's it's the best of the best armor that you can get. Um, I actually had an infinity mending bow you can't have infinity and mending on your bows anymore and I had one and when I found the what's it called the stronghold I died and when I respawned I didn't realize I was almost right on top of where I had died so instead of digging straight down to get to it I ended up going back to my original tunnel, which was far away, and getting lost through all the rooms and everything. So it was loaded the entire time. And I got to watch it despawn. And of course, you can't have the two of them on there anymore. And that made me very sad. I don't know if you can now, but yeah, it was an infinity mending. So you got to imagine that is, again, that's why we call it Uber. It is it is amazing. There isn't anything better than that. So, yes. It kind of, like, 
broke my heart a little bit on that one. Okay. It really did break my heart. And I have no idea what I'm building here. Oh, the cartographer. Cartographer. So, if he is here, we can start pushing some of these buildings away over. But I'm not going to do that on stream because that's just boring watching me count everything again. Let's go to sleep and let's get the other buildings downstairs spaced out. Was that you, Kitty? Like something teleported beside me. I'm like, oh, did I look at the Enderman? No. Oh, Enderman. Let's not look at the Enderman. But we do want the spiders. You're going to try and kill me. I want to kill you. You only give me string. I need eyeballs. Jeez. Uh, oh my gosh. I swear, Endermen, they still scare me so badly. Really? You gave me levels. Did it drop? I don't like to look over things like that very often because Kitty likes to come up beside me and says, I think you should go in. And then we have problems. Look, there's an Enderman on my tree. Please don't move my blocks. I do not need that help. And I'm nowhere near water, so there isn't anything I can do. Can I just walk into them? I'm in a haze of purple. Okay. It looks like he's moved on. I hate when they land beside you, though. That noise is just absolutely terrifying to me. I am going to move this house. I'm not going to keep it here. I'm going to leave that open as a garden. Then the shepherd can stay here. I'm going to move... I ran into something. I'm going to move the butcher over more. I'm going to move the fishery, I'm running into things, over more, and the tannery over more. And then I'll put that other house on this side, and then just space these out a little better. And that should look better. I was not expecting this villager and pillager one to come out quite as soon as it did. And so that's why this wall, it, it looks weird because this is the, the actual lines for it. This is how it's supposed to go. There's a pattern that starts here. So that's one and goes all the way across to here. And then it goes from here up the same distance. So it's 13 wide by 13 high with a pattern in it. And it's three across. So it's one, two, three. And I have carved out, as you can see along there. So this is, you know, it's, this is one, two, three. Then it's one, two, three. And you'll see a straight line all the way up to the other corner. And a straight line here too. And it's cut like that all the way around. So there, these are all four wide on this side of the fence. So that way I have a buffer. But I haven't had a chance to even start the fence because we switched, we moved on. So now I have all these buildings I need to make and it's like, Ugh. I don't wanna make all these buildings. I really don't, but we're going to because we said we were going to and we're good at it. Who are we making? We are making an armorer, a fletcher, a mason, a toolsmith and a weaponsmith. And we have this big giant area to work in. And I'm looking up there going, I have all of these up here. Maybe they would be better downstairs. And it's like, don't do it. Do not redo it. Like, 
this looks squishy now. But this had as many as well. And we had extra space at the end. And we're only looking at little squares, so it doesn't necessarily tell us what it looks like. I mean, this is a farm, so it's like this tall. See, so this will look wide open. This is a house. It'll look like a house. This is a gathering place. So it only has like little pillars maybe in it, but it's going to be kind of a wide open airy space. This is an animal pen. So literally it's going to be a pen with animals. I know that's pretty deep. And this is another house and then there'll be another house. So they'll look pretty interesting. Did I put the butcher at the end? I put the tannery at the end. I think I'd like to put the... Oh, and there's the fishery. Eh. I was going to put the butcher on the other end. But I guess not. And a lot of these, like the shepherd, the house is not that big. The back of it is a giant pen. This one genuinely is this big. But it's L-shaped. So there's open space here. Uh, the fishery is actually up on a platform, so it's above ground. So that's kind of cool. And then there's a pond underneath. So there's open area under there. I might push this one actually back instead. Or switch it for this one. Um, I don't remember what the tannery looks like, but I think it's just a square building. So yeah, I might trade the fishery in the tannery and then push the fishery back more and then make it an, a much larger pond to work with. And then we'll have a house there and then possibly another house here just simply because we need beds. We don't have enough houses for all of the different things that we have. Let's put a sign down. So we said this would be house. This would be a house. And this would be a water and garden type area. Mm -hmm. And I think that would be good because we can't put anything on here. Because again, this is the one, then one, two, three. And then I made two to be able to have the pathway on there. So if I want to put something along here, like a garden or something, I can and it won't break that rule. I also might need stairs to be able to get up and down. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. So we said small house six is coming out of here. We're going to repeat a house. So the question is, which house will we actually repeat? Because we do need to repeat one. And it'll be either one from downstairs on this side. They're actually really interesting looking houses too. They're, they're very fascinating. And that was small house eight. So let's change this to small house eight going here because it is small. Oh, sorry, kitty. I didn't mean to do that. Or six. Maybe it was six. Uh oh. I'm really bad for this. I should have looked at it and maybe written it down so I'd remember. Um, where is the description of eight? Nope, it's six. There. Um, oh, that would do it. Um, if you make a staircase that they can fall off of, they will die. 
they're they're very consistent about that. <laughs> they're they're funny that way. There. And then this house will go like there. And this house can go like here. And we'll figure out a house to go there somewhere. And then we can put trees and gardens and weird stuff. I accidentally killed our pig. The pig that we had since the very, very beginning. And it turns out that I killed our pig, Henry, in the multiplayer world because I put one of those berry bushes in the same room as him because we had a fox. So I thought, okay, well, if we have a fox, it can feed itself. So, oh my gosh, he jumped in, yikes. That's not okay. That's very not okay. I was like, how do I only have this many signs left? Let's put down our bed. And Kitty, where are we going to put our first building? Where would you like it to be? And what would you like it to be? Last time what I did was I put all the boxes out and I had it listed as to what they all were. And I would build them based on where the cat sat. <laughs> it would sit on the one that I made. They don't hate you. They're just not very good AIs. They try, but they're really bad. I mean, I had at one point probably over half of my village sitting in the river. They were all in the river, spinning around and around. They were all the way out here in the river. They were originally over there. Oh my gosh, we have a llama. We have a rogue llama. Does that mean the trader is here? Huh. I'm not quite sure what to think of that. Um, you're here somewhere. I will click on you. Uh, no, that was not planned. Let's go sleep. I hate the fact that he goes invisible. This is the shepherd house, which I realized I spelt wrong. There's another H in here. Uh, you should have a bed. No? Okay. You don't have a bed. You have a sheep, but you don't have a bed. Um... What are you? Stable? You won't have one. Library? What about you? You have a bed. We can sleep. They want to go for a quick swim. No, they're just... They actually, it was not quick. They literally were in there. And they would think about iron golems, and I would end up with a ton of iron golems in the water. Iron golems don't drown. So I sat there and killed off all the iron, like killed off all the villagers that were in the water because they were breeding so quickly. Oh, if we're done over here, I don't need to have my bed over here. Yet another random bed. This is what I mean. I have beds everywhere for no particular reason. Just because. Yeah, I wasn't able to get any other sheep except for my blue ones, so I dyed them white. <laughs> and I extended this by two. This used to only be like this skinny. I'm like, they can't even walk back and forth. That's not okay. And that's another beige one. So he actually has to come out of the water. Um, I really don't need any of this. I will buy your packed ice, but I need you to come out of the water. Let's start with that 
because I'm going to shoot you and kill you afterwards so I can steal your your stuff. And I can't do that while you're in the water because I need you to take fire damage. Would you move? What if I push you guys? Will you get out of the water? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, that just terrified me. Welcome, welcome. Um, I want this one. This is the one I want. You, I don't care about. I need you to go. Be, be elsewhere. I will trade with you on the condition that you get out of my stream. Not my stream, my river. Where are you going? All right, go where you're going to go. I am going to quickly go in and grab an ender chest. Some Actually, if you're going that way, there should be an ender chest over there. Yeah, that woke you up. That does that me too. It terrifies me. And my adrenaline just pumps like mad. And see, here's another bed. So they were literally coming all the way out here to sleep. And I was like, what are you doing over here? Hello, fishies. Uh, ender chest. Emeralds. Turtles being good. Staying in the water. Good job, guys. Cat sitting on the bed again. I am thinking of doubling banners like these ones and putting one on the other side because you're looking at the backs of all these and I, I just don't like that. Yeah, I have a lot of beds. <laughs> They're everywhere. I don't like phantoms. <laughs> so really, we're going to hang out under here. Yeah, where are you going? I thought you were going this way. Please go to land. I cannot shoot you with my flame bow when you're in the water. I want your llama. And I can't have your llama unless you die of not suspicious circumstances. <laughs> That's the catch to the whole thing. It cannot be a suspicious circumstance. Come on, look, land. Yay, land. You're swimming back out again, aren't you? Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm willing to trade with you, but you got to work with me. And out he goes. Yeah, look at that. I bought some of your ice. But you're, you're going, I don't know where he's going. I want this. But I have a flame bow. Huh? Oh, I wouldn't buy the llamas. <laughs> I'm too cheap. And now I'm going to drown because I want packed ice. That's not cool. Kitty, what are we going to do? He's hanging out under the bridge. He doesn't understand that that's not an okay place to be. I don't know what to do with him. If I kill him and the llamas get mad and I try to drag them over to my farm, my other llamas will attack these llamas. So it becomes a free for all and it gets kind of ugly. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. He is the troll under the. Oh, I do have it on me. He is the troll under the bed, under the bridge. And he's trolling me. You're mean guy. Okay, I'm going to put a bed down here because why not? I, I literally have beds everywhere. And ender chests. I'm a big fan of, of dropping ender chests everywhere. 
When I travel, I usually take an ender chest in my own personal inventory, and then I put extra ender chests in the ender chest, just so that I can have it. So, uh, we were using pink to put our junk in. And I think all the emeralds were actually going in here. You actually want to see them get into a fight? <laughs> I mean, it can do it if he doesn't move. The problem is he's got one that I want. Oh, you're going to make it happen in your world. Okay, well, that works. But yeah, they will they'll battle. They're not nice to each other. Oh, wait, there you are. I want the beige one. Will you get mad at me if I kill this one? I know the brown one is mad at me now, but I don't know if the beige one is also mad at me. Okay, let's see. And he should have dropped a lead. Oh, a lead and leather. Ooh. But I want this. Kitty. Kitty, get out of the water. And the thing is, he'll despawn after a while. And my bow is strong enough to kill one of these llamas in one shot, and you saw it took three. So the water, I mean, it's power five. But it's the flame that I count on. I need that. I need the AoE. We don't need that. We do need that. Okay. I'm going to leave you be for a while because I have other things I need to do. And watching you in a llama is... You know what? <sighs> He's maybe mad enough. <gasps> I got a headshot. Does that make you mad? It does not make you mad. I didn't think I would be able to do it. We'll know in a minute if he's mad because he'll start spitting at me. It worked. Hi, I am your new owner. Come with me this way. Wow. Uh, cats can swim for a certain amount of time and then they will drown. But you can put a cat in a boat with you, and the two of you can boat together, which is cool. Baby cats, so kittens, um, yeah, that's the thing. It's the fire. I think it's because he has to die in the first try. That's what the problem is. Whoa! Okay. Everybody's excited to see you. Except me because now I've got escaping horses because that's what they do. I actually had to move the fence because they were all gathering over here, hopping up on this, hopping up on the fence which came to here, and then wandering off. So if I kill him with one shot, I'm okay. Okay, I, I like this. Do I have eggs on me? I do. I do not want eggs on me. So now I have two beige ones. I have two brown ones. And I have a lot of these ones. I wonder if the other color, though, if it has the other color. You have really good stats for a llama. Hmm. What if I give you white carpet? Huh. So now you look like my other ones with white carpet. Which we don't want. We want you to look like that, which is unique. Because I don't think we can make that color. These guys all have carpet on them. So that's what this one looks like. Can I breed? Uh, 
See, here's these guys in here. They all have carpet on them. And the villagers were so bad, they were getting in here. So I actually had to put gates on everything. So I have child-proofed everything. Um, the horses were actually not going through the fences. Or the fences, when you break a fence, I think it's more than one spot. Because when you break it, you break the actual one plus the bit on this side and the bit on this side. And that is enough space for a horse to get through. So they're a pain. But in here, so I have these ones, so they're brown. These ones are actually white. These ones are beige and these ones are stony. Huh. Because if you look at these ones, they have a lot more gray in them than these ones. Let us go and check out our llamas. Yeah, literally, I was childproofing. Everywhere has safety gates on it. Like, my front door, I had to take my front door off because they would just open up the door and go on in. And there are beds on every level, along with clocks, so I know when to sleep. And I couldn't sleep in my own area. I actually have a trap door on the stairs going up because they were going up and sleeping in my bed, like my actual house bed. And yes, I even have a bed in here. Like there are beds everywhere on here so I can sleep. So yeah, lots of beds. I think maybe the llamas are ready. I may have enough llamas. Huh. Like this one, if you look at the back of its head and you look at the back of that head, these are not the same type of llamas. This is the stony one. This is the white. What are you guys? You are mine. So let me get you back into what you should be looking like. Your bait horses. Come on, guys. Cooperate here. You know there's too many of you. You know I'm going to kill you. Please don't volunteer to be first. I know the ones that are black and white spots, some of those have to go. Excuse me, donkey. Oh, that sounded bad. Didn't give me any leather either. How many are there? That's brown spots. Okay. See, they stand up on the windowsill. So we have brown spots, black spots. We have a black spot one over that tack back chose. I think they were, there's another one. So one, two, three, and the one we killed. Thank you for the leather. All right. Makes it a little easier to see. I'm like, there's one, but that's a white blanket. That's a white socks. That's a white with the pattern. That's a white blanket. That's a white with the splotches. There's another splotches. <sighs> there are too many white blankets. 